Hey, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Harris Software, and today we're going to be walking through a IT company digital marketing case study. All right, so pop over here to a company called NetTech Consultants, and they are a local MSP or IT company, whatever you want to call it, uh, here in the Jacksonville area, and met the president there at a uh, local uh, small business event for the uh, minor league hockey team we have here and they'd been working with a marketing company for a little while and not getting a whole lot of results um, and we started talking kind of told him about my technical background and how I was kind of transitioning ever into marketing and they decided to let me give it a little try on helping them out with some marketing um, so I pointed out a number of issues with their website and some things I thought I could do better for them. Um, and we originally kind of started the uh, relationship off with a website rebuild that was like kind of limited in scope. Um, went and cleaned up some of the technical issues with the site. It was loading extremely slow, had some kind of brand inconsistencies and some um, just a number of things that I knew would kind of deter people from actually like engaging with the site So went through and kind of cleaned those up updated the home page to make that a little bit more of like a good solid like master pitch for the company um, and Updated their messaging to be a little bit more um, Clear and kind of put some calls to action. You know, you can see right here on the like home page of this um, front phone numbers right there front and center really easy to convert and um, you know just updated uh, their website for our initial kind of like launch plan and that was to run some Google Ads so along with kind of the the technical rebuild to restore like the, the user experience and make sure that it wasn't running too slow um, updating the messaging and making the call, calls to action more prominent I also installed uh, Google Analytics in the back end so we could get some uh, feedback on what sort of traffic the site was generating and then I went and installed conversion tracking um, within the site to know when people were actually calling or filling out a contact form um, they did not have a blog at the time so I went, up, went ahead and set up a um, blog for them and put just like a introduction to net tech type post out there just so something would be out there but we originally started with Google Ads and a very small ad budget um, and a small retainer and I was managing the ad account for them and we were able to generate some leads there in the first month um, and then started getting some feedback on what sort of queries people were searching for um, we originally or then we uh, expanded the budget and also decided to expand the kind of scope of the relationship there. Um, so once we got the Google Ads uh, rolling initially, uh, again, expanded that budget to um, target a much broader base of keywords and start building some PPC dedicated landing pages. You know, I can kind of explain to the company that um, we are driving traffic to the home page to start but that. Um, was not necessarily always the best approach and was gonna we could get some better conversion rates if we started rolling out what's called like PPC dedicated landing pages um, so you know I'll give you a quick example here of what one of those will look like um, so this is a PPC dedicated landing page for to support when people search this, the phrase in Google IT company or IT company Jacksonville Florida or some f some flavor of the the phrase IT company um, and having a PPC dedicated landing page to support specific queries is a super powerful way to in can increase conversion rates and um, generate leads for the business um, so you can see as soon as people click um, the ad in Google Ads um, they're gonna come and I'll see if the it's actually showing right now boom okay there we go so I just searched IT company in Jacksonville and you can actually see that the net tech consultants ad um, popped right up and I have several different 
uh, variations of this ad, but this one is the one that kind of popped up um, for this particular search impression. And if I were to click on this ad, which I won't, it would take us over here to this page. So I, I Googled IT company Jacksonville, NetTech shows up right here, and then I click on it, and then right after clicking an ad that says Jacksonville IT company, I'm taken to a page that has consistent messaging right behind that. Um, so that increases my confidence level as a searcher of um, connecting with a company that's actually going to meet my needs. Um, right here we've got um, B2B outsourced IT services for Jack's Metro small businesses and that really helps like kind of um, qualify the uh, searcher, make sure that we're not overlapping consumer searchers and let's kind of just see if we can deter them. Um, you know, tell people exactly what they're going to get like as soon as possible and give them an easy way to convert. Um, <coughs> again, got the phone number um, right here front and center um, on mobile. This is a really uh, strong, minimize some stuff here. This looks really good on mobile on like a small screen because um, a lot of people like on mobile devices will convert pretty I mean like you have a good chance if like you have an IT company in Jacksonville that's what they were searching for their B2B they're looking for a B2B outsource provider a lot of times they'll just kind of impulse convert and click this button on mobile so it's really great to have like a, a way to convert via phone call um, right there uh, front and center um, but even on desktop here, uh, you know, we move down, um, tell a little bit more about what the company does, and you know, people buy from people. So we put the kind of leadership team for the company right there uh, at the start. So you know that we've matched search intent. We've created kind of a human connection here by like showing the leadership team there, and then we're going to explain what people get. Um, when they contact contact NetTech, so you know you get uh, monitoring and hourly IT services. If you um, you know work with this company, we explain what kind of the benefit of going with this particular approach is, um, how it kind of de-risks and is a little bit lower cost. Um, and then we have kind of the high-level sort of services that the company provides. You know, without giving too much information and getting too technical. Um, then we got a nice customer testimonial here to see what kind of companies are uh, saying about working with NetTech and uh, reinforce the messaging about it being a dependable company um, that can meet the needs of a B2B purchaser. Um, then we're going to give them an alternative way to convert. You know, some people don't necessarily want to convert via a phone call immediately, but a little bit lower. Um, touch conversion is something they're more amenable to with a form fill. So we give them that alternate way. Um, if they didn't accept the opportunity to convert here, give them a little bit more information, kind of show them um, who they'll get as part of their IT department if they are to connect, contact this company, and you know some what you'll get when you'll partner with them. Manage some disaster recovery, backups, uh, Patching, asset management, you know, kind of a lot of things that you'd expect if you outsourced your IT department to a company. Um, and then one last uh, conversion call to action here with a chance to click to call on mobile. Um, you know, and a lot of people will also just pick up the phone while they're browsing on desktop and manually dial. Um, we see kind of both flavors of conversions, um, click to calls or manually dialed. Um, and we have conversion tracking set up to understand when that's happening in Google Ads. <coughs> so um, this is just an example of one landing page. Um, we have a you know network of these pages now built out to support key queries that we've identified in the Google Ads account. Um, and then on top of the Google Ads, um, we've also started. I also started kind of managing their blog and creating blog content every month to help promote on social media and attract search engine traffic for organic queries. Um, so you can kind of kind of just show you some of the blog posts we've got here. Um, this is a kind of roundup post on the top IT um, 
companies in Jacksonville and how to find them. Um, reasons why you should outsource Office 365 admin and support. You know, a lot of these queries are a lot of these blog posts are written to attract specific search engine traffic. Um, so I'm not going to run through all of them, but you know, just putting through putting together like a professional, um, uh, professional looking blog um, and attracting search engine traffic to help them uh, connect with the audience and people searching for IT services in the Jacksonville area. Um, so I started managing the blog for them right around mid-July of 2020. We started the pay-per-click in summer of 2019. Um, got the leads kind of rolling in, expanded the relationship, increased the ad budget, and I started managing the blog for them about summer of 2020. And you can pretty much see the increase in traffic over that kind of time. So right around here was 2020, and you can see that they've increased their traffic pretty significantly since we've added the blog. Um, they had about 70 referring domains when we first started, so they've gotten about 35 organic referring domains and backlinks to the website. So we haven't even been doing SEO for a year, and their traffic has already increased substantially. They are getting organic backlinks and um, things are growing. Um, on top of the blogging and the SEO, um, I've also started kind of you know, managing their LinkedIn um, and creating <coughs> uh, about a once a, once a week post on LinkedIn. Um, their organic social has grown from around 150 followers to 215 at this point. And just overall, they've really expanded their uh, reach within the marketplace and uh, sort of local queries that they're ranking for from an organic standpoint and from a paid advertising standpoint. Um, we've also done some limited uh, LinkedIn ads and you know there's a lot of lot of room to grow with this particular company um, but I just kind of wanted to uh, share um, what has been going on and I'll even kind of show you real quick the um, the ad account and you know I did a lot of things for them too that were like you know smaller things like incre like kind of clean up their social media page make it look more professional I updated all the copywriting on their social media account here um, have designed graphics and um, things like that along the way um, and then on the ad account here you can kind of see I've done the all-time view of the ad account and you can see Again, we started in summer of 2019 uh, running some ads <coughs> and run a number of different campaigns but um, you know got a branded search and a search consideration one that are running right now um, but we've got 120 conversions that we've had via the search consideration and 46 come in via branded search, um, converting at 6% rate on the, the cold traffic and 15% on the branded traffic um, for a couple hundred dollars per lead. So it's pretty reasonable for an MSP where the average lifetime customer values can be you know very large. Um, and the sticking power of customers that you close is good. Um, so you know, overall, the traffic for NetTech has increased more than 400% um, just from an organic standpoint, and that's not even considered considering the um, advertising that we're doing. Um, so substantially increased their traffic, and this company has grown significantly over a two-year period. Um, I've got kind of the, some more details in a blog post that this uh, case study is really. Um, case study video is meant to support and I will link that into the description down below in the YouTube video here but uh, overall I've made a big impact on this company um, we only have to meet about an hour a month um, so they've pretty much just uh, delegated the inbound marketing function over to Tortoise and Hare software and they also work with a cold calling company um, and that's what they rely on for the business development aspect. Um, but definitely been able to help them take advantage of the 
digitization of the sales process that's happened and they got started at a great time because when the pandemic rolled around and things kind of hit the fan in um, uh, March, they had the pipeline already up and running and you know, 2020 and since the pandemic has hit has been fantastic for them. Um, you know, they've really benefited from getting um, a little bit ahead of the curve there and have, you know, d done really well as a result. So um, that said, I'm looking to help out more MSPs. So if you are interested in getting some help with your MSP on your digital marketing, then would love to talk to you and, um, you know, show you how I can help out. Um, I've left out a lot of details on what's gone on behind the scenes here, but just kind of wanted to give you an overview of the project and kind of share some of the results that have been uh, generated from, from it and um, connect with more MSPs uh, that are looking to grow their sales and get more inbound leads. So, um, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Um, if you liked it, please definitely hit that subscribe button down below because I'm publishing all sorts of content that helps B2B tech companies uh, grow their uh, inbound lead pipelines, grow their traffic, and uh, increase their sales. Um, so again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hair Software, and thanks for watching.